everyone, so today it is time for my January favorites videos. I absolutely love favorites videos. I don't know why, they're so much fun for me to film and I love doing them and I love watching other people's favorite videos. If you're not familiar with what a favorite video is, it's basically just where I go through and I talk about all my favorite beauty products that I've been using for the entire month of whatever month I put it up. It's normally the previous month or I put it up at the very end of a month if that makes any sense. So this is all the beauty products that I used pretty much every single day of January or that I filmed during January that I really loved and then at the end I'm going to do like my favorite TV shows, uh, my favorite songs, my favorite bands, stuff like that because that's something that I sometimes do in my videos and I sometimes don't put them in my favorites and this month I decided to. But the first two products I'm going to go ahead and get out of the way because I mentioned them in every single favorites video and you guys probably could already guess what they are. It's my Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation and my Too Faced Natural Eye Palette. I've been using these products, this one, since last February so it marks a year for me for this little baby. I absolutely love it. I think this is like, people always ask me how fast I run out of a tube of this. Um, I think this is my third tube. So I've gone through about three tubes. I'm almost finished with this one in a year. So it is an expensive foundation, but I think it's worth it and it lasts you a pretty long time. And I'm in the color Rose Ivory for any of those um, of you, any of those of you who are wondering, for any of those of you who are wondering, um, I'm in the color Rose Ivory. And then my Too Faced Natural Eye Palette, which I actually did a tutorial. I did a tutorial using the um, foundation as well if you want to see how I apply that and all that type of stuff. And then I also did a tutorial. I've been using this since September pretty much every day for my everyday eye. Looks just like this. Anytime you see me with an eye look that looks like this, I've been using this palette. Absolutely love it. I put those two products in all my favorites videos um, since as long as I've had them. And I know they're kind of boring and repetitive, but they're the type of products that I love so much that I can't not mention it in a favorites video. So now let's get into the real favorites of the month, maybe some that I haven't mentioned quite so much. Okay, so the first real favorite of the month is something that I sadly only got to use about two times. I literally think I used it two times before something terrible happened to it. An RIP little beauty, beauty blender sponge. Teddy got a hold of you. This isn't an actual beauty blender sponge. It's the knockoff one from Ulta. It's, um, what brand is it? Like Beauty Essentials or something? I don't really remember, but I got it from Ulta. It's my second one I purchased. They're not expensive. I feel like they're like four or seven dollars or something. Um, I got my first one. I lost it. I got another one. Got to use it for two days. Fell in love with it. I like my applying this um, for my foundation better than um, using my fingers, using a brush, anything like that. Used it two times before my dog decided to basically eat it. I mean, that's kind of what happened, except he didn't swallow it. He just spit it out all over my floor. So I had a nice little treat to vacuum up. So I haven't been able to use it more than two times, but the two times I used it, I absolutely loved it. So I was like, that deserves to be an honorary favorite of the month. Okay. And then the foundation that I actually hauled recently, I feel like I hauled it like the beginning of January. Um, I got a Studio Gear foundation and I'm in the color medium. And it looks like that. How pretty is it? You can tell I've already used quite a bit. I use this under my eyes and on any problem areas, any redness on my face. Um, I like to put it on after my foundation, but before my powder. And I was kind of skeptical about this because I told you guys the story. I walked into Ulta. I asked them for a good concealer. They pointed me to another concealer. I turned around. I saw this one. And I was like, oh, I'll get that one, you know, because that totally makes sense to just be like, oh, I ask you a question, but I don't really care, you know, which one you send me to because I'm going to use this one. Um, so I got this. Absolutely love it. I also like that it's one that you can use under your eyes and on any like redness or any acne or anything like that because a lot of them, um, you can't do that. A lot of um, concealers are either made with peach undertones for under the eyes or they're made for, you know, your blemishes or anything. Okay. And then the next thing, I know I'm going pretty fast, uh, but I don't know why. I just am. Um, the next one is the Urban Decay Liquid Liner, and this is in the color Perversion. Now, you guys know my love-hate relationship with all type of liners. I go from only using pencil, only using gel, only using liquid, only using felt tip liquid, like all different ones. Right now, I'm in the mood for this type of one. And it is one of the ones that has a brush that looks like that. So I was actually using my Marc Cosmetics one and I ran out and I didn't want to have to order one online because that's what I typically have to do with any Marc Cosmetics makeup that I want. But I was already at Sephora and they had Urban Decay and I was like, you know what, I'm just going to pick up one of these. And I really like it. I put it on my upper lash line and I can get a really fine, even line or I could do it a little bit thicker. I can flick it out and do a wing. So I like that about it. 
Another eyeliner that I'm really liking is the CoverGirl Liquid Line Blast, but it's not liquid liner, so I don't know, Liquiline? I don't really know. You can look at the name right there if my camera will focus, but it won't. Um, and this is in the color, I guess it's in the color black because it's black. Maybe it's like black is black or something, but it's just a pencil liner, and I like using this on my waterline. And I'm just going to get up close and personal and show you guys something. I don't know if you can tell that I still have a really black line on my waterline right here, which typically with a lot of pencil liners, it kind of smears off throughout the day. I probably applied this um, about two hours ago, so it's good that it's still on. You think two hours, I really hope your makeup's still on, but if you have used a um, black liner on your inner waterline, you know that it, it like it comes off so quickly, and so I really like that this is one that really does stay on throughout the entire day, and it was only a couple dollars at a drugstore, so thumbs up for the CoverGirl liquid line, but it's not liquid liner, so I really don't understand what that means. The last eye product I have for you guys is my Maybelline Falsies Mascara, and this has made a debut in a couple of my favorites videos already, but I've been using it all throughout this month. I love how long it makes my lashes. I don't know if you guys will be able to tell, but it makes my lashes really long and really full, and I really like the way this works, and it's a really good dupe for the Lancome Hypnose Drama Mascara. It has the same like kind of curve in its wand. I always say that drugstore mascaras are either better or just as good as department store mascaras. That's one thing that I really don't think you need to spend money on to get a high-end mascara. I think you should save it and spend money on a higher-end, you know, foundation or something like that. For lips, I recently got my first EOS or ESOs or something like that lip balm, and it looks like a little Easter egg, and I got this, and I'm really laid on this trend because apparently people have been buying these for like years and putting them on their YouTube videos but this is a chapstick how cute is that it's like a little egg and then you open it up and it's like a little another egg or maybe that's like the yolk I don't really know um, but I just smear it all over my lips and it makes my lips really soft and really um, yummy and I got this one because it was the closest color to pink but I found out that the color represents the flavor and I actually really like this like coral flavor I don't know what flavor it's supposed to be maybe like mango or citrus or something um, and then the other lip product I've been loving is for Christmas you guys have no idea how many little Mac gift sets people got me I guess they know that I'm like a beauty person and I'm obsessed with you know Mac and stuff so everybody and their mother decided that they were going to get me the little Mac Christmas gifts which I absolutely appreciated so much but I got a lot of duplicates so I actually gave them to other friends or you know I, I distributed them so that I wasn't just sitting there with a lot of product but I really did appreciate the people because they they put a lot of thought into what they were gonna get me and they knew that that's something that I would definitely appreciate and I got each one of the mini lip glosses so this is the size I think it's a third of one of their regular lip glosses if you look at like the grams or maybe it's half of one of their regular lip glosses um, but I I think they came out with three different ones for the holiday season and each one came with five little mini ones and I got each one and I've been going through and you might have noticed in my recent videos I might have a different lip color on and my favorite one that I've tried so far is just for fun it looks like this I have it on right now and it's one of the only colors I've found that when I put it on it really keeps my natural lip color but it just gives it a really pretty shine because I have kind of a weird natural lip color I find and a lot of you know colors they either cover it up or they don't you know they don't have enough pigmentation and I really like this one and I have no idea if the Jest for fun has anything to do with their Jest eyeshadow because that happens to be one of the very first MAC eyeshadows I ever bought was Jess, and I don't know if they discontinued it. I have a feeling that they did. Maybe they didn't. I have no idea, but I think they did, and if that has to do with that, then that's just like a sign that that is supposed to be my color lip gloss, so I absolutely love that one. Okay, next thing is nail polish, and when I hold up these two colors, you guys are going to be like, Blair, those are so different, but it's these two. This one is called Sweetheart by OPI, and it's a very, very, very light, kind of like pale pink. I've had it on my nails throughout this month, so if you go back and watch my video, Videos, you'll probably see this on my fingernails I think it's really pretty um, and it's just to me it feels like a clean color like when I look at my hands and I have a very like light pale color on it just feels very clean but I find that a lot of pale colors I use it just looks like I'm not wearing any nail polish that's the perfect shade for like my skin tone and then the other one I'm loving is here today Argon tomorrow which is a really really deep color it looks black but it's actually a really deep green so I like that right now in case you guys are wondering this is glove you so much it's from their holiday collection OPI it's not this holiday but the one before it it's actually my sister's color and I decided to put it on um, and I really like it. The hair products, the first one is the Joyco k pack Reconstruct um, Shampoo and I don't use the same conditioner because I ran out of my Alterna Hemp Organics um, shampoo and I went to Ulta but I already had a lot of the Alterna Hemp Organics conditioner left 
So I didn't get any new conditioner because I was like, I'll just use the conditioner I already have, but I need a new shampoo. I've used this shampoo before. I've, you know, featured it in videos before. I forgot why this is my favorite shampoo in the whole wide world. One time of using it and I have the silkiest, smoothest hair. It helps with split ends. It is my favorite, 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 favorite shampoo ever and I don't know why I ever stopped using it. My other hair favorite for the month of January is the Tresemme Thermal Creations Heat Tamer Spray. This is a heat protectant that I really like because it's a lot less expensive than the Chi 44 Iron Guard, which is what I've used for as long as I can remember as my um, heat spray. And I also like this because I've tried it when I'm straightening my hair and when I'm curling my hair and it, I feel like it kind of like seals in my flyaways while I'm straightening my hair and it like kind of like helps with that. But then it doesn't weigh down my hair when I want to curl my hair. So I absolutely love this. I think it's really, really, really good. And I recommend this to anyone who wants a heat tamer spray or a heat protectant um, and they are looking to save a little bit of money and not spend so much. My perfume of the month is probably one that you're not exactly expecting because recently I've either been loving my pink sugar perfume or my Juicy Couture Peace Love Juicy. But the month of January, I found myself reaching for my DKNY Be Delicious Green Apple Perfume. I started wearing this a couple months ago. I fell in love with it, and then I went back to just my standard everyday scent. Wore this again. I get so many compliments when I'm wearing this. Every time I'm walking around, people will either ask me, they're like, are you wearing Be Delicious? Because like they, it's a familiar scent a lot of people know. Or they'll be like, what scent are you wearing? I don't know if it like settles on my skin weird, but it's like every single person has to comment on it if I'm like close enough to them where they can smell me. So I love that and I will probably be using it for the next couple months. And then my last like beauty favorite is my skincare. I have been loving, loving, loving my skincare. I finally got my skin to where I'm very confident in it and I love my skin and that's something that I, I don't think I've really ever said to you guys. I'm always very self-conscious about my skin. It was always my biggest insecurity and I love my skin. But I'm going to do an entire skincare video. It'll probably be like the next video I put up on this channel because I am so excited to show you guys everything that I'm doing for my skin and it is like so exciting for me because you guys know that skincare is something that I've been working on for years and years trying to get my perfect routine down. I have come to the conclusion that I mix lots of different products from lots of different brands. I found my favorite cleanser, my favorite toner, my favorite makeup remover, my favorite moisturizer, my favorite eye cream, put them all together and I have my updated uh, skincare routine. So I will be showing you guys that super, super soon. Make sure you leave a comment below if you want me to do that video. Okay, and then now really quickly before this video ends, I wanna talk to you guys about my favorite TV shows. Of course, you know, Pretty Little Liars, 90210, The Bachelor, ooh, The Bachelor came back and I've really been liking The Bachelor and I don't really like Brad, like the way he left his last season. Obviously, I don't think anyone in America really liked him, but he's kind of making up for himself and I like him. But the TV show that has stolen my heart for the month of January is Genuine Ken. I know I've already vlogged about this because it was like so exciting for me. I was like, I have to vlog about this. It is one of my favorite shows. I think I've seen in a really, really long time. You can watch it for free on Hulu.com, but if your country blocks Hulu, they actually started uploading them to a YouTube channel. I'll link everything in the bottom bar below, but it's youtube.com slash Barbie. So far, they have released three episodes, and I have to say, I just watched the third episode, and it was my favorite one by far. So if you watch the first and second one, and you're still kind of on the fence, watch the third one and see if that kind of pushes you over, because it has become like my favorite show. But I grew up, you know, with Barbie dolls and Ken dolls and stuff like that, so it's a really fun show for me to watch and I know that I've been getting a lot of really positive feedback from you guys on Twitter and email and comments and stuff like that where you're like thank you you know for telling me about Genuine Kin because it's so fun and it's so good and I completely agree. My favorite band of the month Owl City hands down OMG WHKP you guys. I am obsessed with Owl City. There was a time back before Fireflies got famous and all that jazz and like made them all famous. Um, I was obsessed with Hot Air Balloons. I had it on my blog, like I was addicted to it. And I listened to, you know, their whole album and stuff. And then Fireflies got really famous, so Owl City got really famous. And then I still kind of listened to their album and stuff and I still liked them. But I recently, it was just, you know, in the month of January, I started listening to their album again and I am head over heels addicted. I think I can safely say that they're my favorite band. Like when someone asks me like, who's your favorite you know, artist or who's your favorite band? I think I'm gonna be able to say Owl City. But another song that I'm really liking is Tokyo Vampires and Werewolves by the Wombats. If you guys have not heard that, you definitely need to go listen to it because it's a really fun song. And I think when I tell people that I like this kind of music, they're like, whoa, you strike me as like a Britney Spears kind of girl. And yeah, I love Top 40, I love Britney, you know, I love all that, but I also like some of the other type of music and I think it kind of strikes people weird with that because a lot of times they're like I didn't think you would like the wombats you know but 
that song is really really good and then my last favorite of the month is workout classes because I am not someone who loves going to the gym I really don't like it at all but send me to a workout class and it's fun it's like a fun environment you just do like an hour of your workout class or whatever and I've really been enjoying it so that is my favorites for the month of January I would love to know what your favorite beauty products or what your favorite anything what's your favorite food for the month of January you know what's your favorite movie anything like that for the month of January film it and leave it as a video response below if you can't leave a video for any reason feel free to comment and I will talk to you guys later bye